Hi viewers, welcome to Learn Matlab Basic. Today we are going to see about how to generate three-phase waveform in Matlab. So for that, just you go to open a new, new Matlab window, the new working window, and then click this library browser, and then go to sources, and then place the sine wave in the working area. Okay. So here you are, we are going to fix the, the different parameter like amplitude, frequency in radian per second, phase angle in radian. Okay. So here I am going to fix the amplitude as it is 1 and I am going to fix the frequency of the system is 2, 2 pi f right, 2 star pi into one. So I am going to consider one kilo uh, one kilohertz sine wave. Okay, so you can change here, right? You can change here uh, for your as per your required uh, frequency. So you can change to fifty or sixty or hundred. So whatever uh, what is your requirement, so you can change here in this point. Okay, and then I am going to apply here. So next in order to um, normally that uh, in three phase waveform. So each waveform will be placed 120 degree apart, right? So we, we need to um, introduce the 120 degree phase shift from the each other. So I'm going to use the same simulating model. And here I'm going to change only the phase, okay, in terms of radiance. So we need to provide the phase angle in terms of radiance. So here you need to provide the phase angle difference is 120 degree. So here I'm going to use the concept 120 divided by 360 which multiplied with the 2 into pi. So that means I'm going to convert that uh, degree into radian. So that's why we are using 120 divided by 360. So for, for single, so for circle, the total degree will be 360. So that's going to be converted into a radian by multiplying 2 into pi. Okay. So here we will get the 120 degree phase shift, okay. And then I am going to same simulating model. So here I am going to change the phase angle is 240, okay. So the phase angle difference between three sinusoidal waveform always 120 degree okay so we need to see the waveform in this scope so for that i'm going to use max so here we need to provide three inputs for the max so i'm going to use three input max so i'm going to connect phase one phase two and phase three and i'm going to use scope the scope used to for measuring that uh, that three phase waveform. So after that, I'm going to simulate this model and then check the results. Okay. So now you are not getting proper result because already it, uh, that mean you can check the previous video right, uh, my first video right. So this is. Uh, the waveform right is depends upon sampling time or maximum step size so we need to change that maximum step size here right so go to this configuration parameter go to click additional parameter and then here you can change the maximum step size which is equal to 1 e power minus 4 okay and then apply and then check the detail so now we, now we can see that you will get the pure three phase sinusoidal waveform right so now i am going to change the style of the waveform
so here you can, you can see that we will get the 3 phase sin xyl waveform with the 1 hertz frequency okay you can change the frequency also here i am going to change the frequency to 50 hertz so here you can change the frequency to 50 hertz and then you can generate uh, the 50 hertz frequency and I am going to use number of cycle which is number of simulation that means simulation time I am going to consider 0.2 seconds and then here I am going to simulate the right so now you can see that so you can see here right the one cycle will take only 0.02 seconds so 0.02 second means the frequency will be 50 hertz only by 0.02 right which is equal to 50 hertz so by varying this uh, uh, here right here you can vary the frequency if suppose you want to change the amplitude uh, then here i'm going to use if you want to change the amplitude, amplitude then you can use product that can multiplication block here just you have to use multiplication block and then so here i'm going to use step signal so I'm going to vary the amplitude at 0.1 second. Initially, the amplitude I'm going to fix is one. That means peak peak amplitude will be one, and then final amplitude I'm going to fix is 0.5. Right? After 0.1 second, the amplitude going to be changed from one to 0.5 seconds. Okay? So we will check the results. So now we can see that from zero to zero point one. So amplitude here is 1, after 0 0.1 the amplitude changed to 1 to 0.5, right? So by multiplying this, uh, the, and that means step input, right? You can vary that uh, amplitude of that sinus and 3 phase sinus area form, okay? So this is the working of, uh, that means uh, this is a, uh, this is way of uh, generating uh, three, wave, three phase waveform in the matlab so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye